Hello, my, uh, my treadmill was making some weird noises from the motor, so I thought I would uh, try to repair the motor. I didn't really find any good instructions on doing this, and the uh, service manual says the motor is not user serviceable, but I figured I'd try it anyway. And it uh, looks like it wasn't that hard to fix. So I've already got it torn apart, but I'm going to show the various uh, parts to uh, get this motor apart. This is a uh, Landis L7 uh, treadmill. And the motor is a Baldor or Baldor. Okay. So the first thing to do, besides, is to get this uh, flywheel off. The flywheel was held on a little screw and a washer. Um, but once you get that off, you'll find that it is stuck on there really hard. It's uh, sort of pressed on. So I had to take a gear puller. Uh, you can get a gear puller at Harbor Freight or Sears, and you put the uh, put the teeth. Gear puller's got some uh, claws that come out, and you can grab it, and then it's got a thing that you crank down in the middle, and it will pull the flywheel off. Flywheel is quite heavy. Um, that was probably the most most difficult part of this to get apart. After that, go over here and. Uh, took out the brushes. The brushes have little uh, covers over them. You need a slotted screwdriver. Then once you get the cover off, you'll find the brushes inside of there. You pull it out. There's this metal part. You might have to pry on it with a little screwdriver to get the metal part loose and then the uh, carbon part is inside. It's one on each side. You want to get them both out. Then uh, take off this sh shield. There's uh, three screws around the outside hold the shield. Once you get the shield off, you'll find there's a uh, fan in there. The, uh, the fan you can pry off. I pried it off by uh, wedging a screwdriver in against the, uh, the kind of hub in the center of the thing. Uh, I think there was a little, uh, a little metal screw and thing that went over the end of this to so make sure not to lose that. Let me take the uh, plastic thing out. Um, in this end of it there were two screws. It hooked down to a little metal uh, plate that retains the uh, bearing so I pulled those two screws out. Let's see what we got. Then uh, at this point, we've got these two big long screws that go in the end here and hold the whole thing together. I think these took like a uh, eight millimeter socket to get them out. Kind of put them in hand tight. I guess I hand tightened them a little more than I thought I would. Okay, pause while I keep the socket. millimeter socket. Very long bolts to hold the thing together. In this part I think it took a couple taps it popped off without too much trouble. Once you get that off inside of there is going to be the uh, motor shaft. Now it's going to feel like there's a spring or something holding on to it. When you pull it, it's going to want to pull back. But that's because there is uh, there's magnets in there. So the magnets really like to hold that thing in the middle. So you just got to yank on it. It'll come loose, come right out the end. Here is the uh, little bracket that I mentioned before that was fixed to those two screws. It kind of falls loose in there. I made sure to tape it up because I want to make sure to put it back on. Um, a couple taps with a screwdriver and you can get the end cap off. And I think we pretty much got it completely apart at this point. So for me, what I found is the front bearing, I put it, uh, held the shaft in my hand like this, spun it, and I can feel, uh, I can feel there's grinding in this bearing. So I pulled this again with a gear puller put the claws of the gear puller around it, crank down and pop the bearing off. And I've obtained some uh, 
replacement bearings. We can put a new bearing in, then slap it all back together. Uh, one other thing to look out for is there's a little springy thing someplace. Yeah. Got already. Oh, here it is. So inside of this piece, there's this little spring washer in there. So make sure you don't lose that. There was not any little spring washers in this end cap. You just only need them from one side. I expect it's probably going to take a press to get the new bearing press back onto there. May try using a piece of pipe and a mallet. We'll see. And it may take a press to get the uh, to get the flywheel back on too. Well, that is it. That is this uh, Landis L7 motor all uh, torn apart.